It's the Wickshire Project Unleashed. Just as a fair warning before we start this video, we're playing with high voltage electricity here. I am an avid DIYer, do-it-yourselfer. If you're not sure what you're doing, don't attempt uh, playing with electricity. It can kill you, uh, maim, damage. Yeah, look on YouTube, look at those monkey videos of them grabbing high electrical wires. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Pretty confident what I'm doing, so this is just for me. If you're not sure what you're doing, hire a professional. I've played with electricity for, yeah, since I was a kid. And um, I'm pretty good at it. Pretty good at shocking myself. Pretty good at learning the hard way. Having some major or minor concerns with the lithium solar battery that's in the house. Today's not a very sunny day. We've had a couple of them in a row. I want to prepare for something drastic. And that would be, you know, more than three days of no sun whatsoever. The average amount of kilowatts we're pulling in is about five. We should be pulling in 10 to 12 solar bank with the PV panels, the solar panels, they aren't really positioned all that great. They're not perpendicular to the sun. So what you want is to have the sun directly on the panels and not at an angle. I bought a 50 amp RV plug and it's a uh, four cord. This is the uh, big thick wire I got. So this handles 300 volts. It says it's water resistant. So I'm coated in a uh, it's not silicone, but it is a real flexible rubber. So ideally what I'm going to do, I'm going to begin to prepare this. You know, because um, that cuts through like butter. I gotta be careful with it. I'm gonna need to expose at least four inches of this wire. So inside the wire, there's these protective paper cords. And that seems to keep everything separated. And it gives it a, a better non-conductive transmission as it goes as the power goes down the cable your white is always your neutral in an AC application your green is always your ground what does ground mean ground means the ground it's a copper wire goes right into the ground your red and your black are always your hot legs leg one and leg two doesn't matter how you do them 6,000 watt generator is going to provide 120 volt out each of these legs and combine total if it's 120 and 120 and it's 240. Next we've got to take a wire stripper and we've got to expose these 10 gauge. Ideally I want about a quarter of an inch. Just under half an inch actually. That's braided bar. So we're gonna have to fix that and I'll show you how to fix this in a second. I'm just looking to see if I've cut any of the wires inside, and I haven't, so that's a plus. What we're going to want to do is gently twist them, just to make them uniform. I've got to tin the wires next. So we've got our solder gun. We've got our AC powered by our solar inside. I know the irony, right? Using solar to fix solar. A little lights on. This is a booster. 
So instead of it heating up at whatever amps, uh, when I press this, it'll double or triple the amps. And you got to hold that in for 30 seconds. What I like to use is a solder with a rosin core already inside of it. These little aluminum clips are a heat dissipator. They go on the furthest part of the wire near where the wire is exposed, just like that. And give the end a little twist. Since I don't have enough hands, use my teeth. I don't want to put it between my legs because if I drop solder on, on myself, uh, it's not going to be a good day for the Wickershire project. And this is basically called tinning. Once we're done, the tinned wires should look something like that. And now I can go take this and install it into the AC inline of my 6,000 watt Ames inverter. So you're probably asking why? Why tin the wires? Well, in an AC application, solid copper strand, AC goes right through it, no problem. Our problem is with stranded many multiple strands of little tiny wires, if any of those come loose and spread out and don't make a connection, the load goes on the lesser amount of wires. The amps travel through that, and that's not ideal. It could get hot, cause a fire. So the reason why, this is why I tin them. That way it makes a full connection all the way through the wire as it gets clamped down and inside the inverter in the receptacle, and it gives us a full contact. So I've got to dial it in and get it just thinking around 40 would be ideal. So again, it's ready for 50. I want to back it down by 10 amps. 40 is plenty. That's somewhere in the range of over, you know, 2,500 watts coming in. Here on the inverter, it's 120, 240. Uh, these are set for 25 amps per leg. That's good to know. Um, I'll show you this plug and I'll explain it. So what you have here is that top one with the bend in it. That there's going to be a ground. The one directly below it, that's your neutral. And then on each side is going to be hot leg one. And then over this side, hot leg number two. So basically, if I am wrong about the wiring, um, those fuses in there should pop. I hope. On the AC input, there is only a hot input two, hot input one, and there appears to be a ground. There is no neutral on the incoming system. Uh, we've just killed the power. On the Ames inverter. So what that leaves us is basically just the two hot legs going in uh, and the ground. It really doesn't matter which um, hot leg goes in. I want to make sure I center these wires.
and that's my neutral which we don't have in the system just the ground and it just it's asking for a hot leg in after I'm done installing this what I'm gonna have to do is go online and check my dip switch settings I need this in AC charge mode and not in inverter mode sorry about the grainy video so this is inverter mode and this yellow light is fast charge we're gonna go start the inverter so give me a second um, so that green light so it's switch to the yellow fast charge mode And there we go. We are inverting. Got the generator on. My battery is at 54 volts, which is 70% full. Uh, work mode, you can see it's in charge. And we're charging. I'll get this up to 56.4 and uh, it'll go from work charge mode to float mode and then we'll let the solar take over the rest we finally got our light show uh, the battery is full it's in balance mode so thanks for watching the Wickshire project we appreciate you I'm gonna have to go pester Daniel for his ladder I don't have one big enough to get up to that roof get our rainwater system going we'll get our showers installed so stay tuned for those upcoming videos and uh, hopefully we'll get it done in a reasonable amount of time We have full power.